to any of you um, breathing gamers, whom of which may be deeply distraught with the current events in World of Warcraft and the uh, company surrounding it. This is Spy. And Warcraft Church is starting. Come in to take your seats. Sit down. I'd like to read from what I had made since Wednesday at 1.32 a.m. to our uh, Jack. I sent this to Jack. And uh, here it goes. <sighs> No one has ever left WoW uh, happy. WoW was a fantastic game, then had some shortcomings, but still amazing content. And now, it has shortcomings systematically and boring content. And, and it, it really did have some fantastic fucking things going on. I mean, it just, it really cared. They were really just a passionate, passionate community. A passionate World of Warcraft. And, and remember all those good times we had. We used to just not even really have to think about what we wanted to do in the game. We just did it, man. It was a time like that. Remember that you know, while we may no longer fully support Blizzard, actually really at all anymore, we need to understand that this thing did bring us joy, so let's remember it. Let's remember how it was, let's go forward, go forward into the world, because it was a world wide anomaly, because of its sheer quality, it set the standard for the MMO landscape for almost 15 years, Elder Scrolls Online in Final Fantasy XIV, they've opened their doors now to the WoW refugees. However, with a heavy heart, bleeding as it may be, I would like to now pronounce. I would like to now pronounce that World of Warcraft is on life support. The only people playing World of Warcraft currently are people who aren't going to stop. The few who just genuinely base their entire lives around it. And it's okay. A classic, Burning Crusade classic, stand as monuments, pay respect, pay respects to its very humble beginnings. And may dear Elder Scrolls Online, Final Fantasy XIV, carry on this heavy burden. Pride. 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 Be very proud of this. This is an amazing accomplishment for you all. You're holding on to some of the most insane kind of gamers. The people who will put up with just anything. Alright? So give them something memorable. Give them something real memorable. Put, put them in your shoes for a minute when you first started and everyone. Church is now way, midway through session and Today we must accept that our first love is no longer with us. Please join us in a reading from Terran's Men of Phil II to the Witch King, his son Arthas, on the top of the Ice Crown Citadel. Appearing in a ghostly form in the frozen north amongst the undead, finding a son near death at the hands of Tyrion Fordring, the leader of the Silver Hand, holder of the Ashbringer. He looked down at his son, the man who had slain him. Father, is it over, he says, says Arthas, realizing the destruction he had wrought. At last, no king rules forever, my son, utters Terranus in a sorrowing tone. Arthas, suffering to his wounds, lets out the last words. I see only darkness. 
this his body lie lifeless? Everyone was hushed at the fate that had fell such a noble soul. Once a noble soul. Was. He was a noble soul one time. He was back, uh, you know, back whenever we used to, you know, go around and you know, join up with dungeons. How many times do you guys remember just engineering with friends, making your way, you know, you're, just, you're young, you got a lot of time to play World of Warcraft, not much going on in your life, so you just, uh, you just do it, do whatever you want, and, you know, your friends, I mean, everyone wanted to loot, here, and, oh no, my, my, my god, the fucking challenge modes, Warlords, everyone, does everyone remember the challenge modes from Warlords? I remember them, and they were fun, they were ama- they were actually good. It was like one content in the entire expansion, it was genuinely fucking good, I enjoyed them. I think that's a controversial statement, but I fucking love them, and I want that all back. Some real challenge, some real adventure. That's why I am playing Elder Scrolls Online, a world where I can make myself. So, just remember everyone, hold in. Hold in. Try these new games and just hold in. You're a new player now. It's been a while since you've been one. But it's time. I believe in you. We're gonna move forward now. If anyone has any last words before, I may now approach the stands and answer today's question. What are some of your favorite stories in World of Warcraft? Even though we know what has happened, and we know now, we can't go back not knowing. We have to accept it, okay? Move forward. Find ourselves a new MMO. Fucking just tear ass through it. Believe in y'all. Alright? Like, just come on. So I'll do Elder Scrolls Online or Final Fantasy IV. Just pick one. I don't care either one. They're both great. Pick one. I believe in you guys. Alright. See you. <laughs>